Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to remove or clean up literally anything from your video using AI. In visual effects, this would normally take hours to paint out, but with the new AI video generators, we can clean this up. And no, it's no AI slop, it's just boring cleanup work that can be done using AI. I personally use this technique all the time for my own clients and own work. I think it's a good idea to share it with you guys and hopefully you can also use this for your fix it in post shots. So let's waste no time and let's get straight into Da Vinci. In this tutorial I will show you two examples of shots we need to clean up. For example this skater right here but we have a lot of details and textures like the graffiti in the background and the foreground this would be impossible to paint out or really heavy for a vfx artist to paint out and our second shot is removing this label from the bottle and we have some liquids in there so ai essentially is now a cheat code for vfx artists to remove stuff like this before i create the timeline i will hit shift 9 on the keyboard and then I will change the timeline resolution to 1920 by 1080 and our frame rate will be 24. Most video generators work with 1080p footage and a frame rate of 24. So to make sure everything matches together, we're gonna use these settings. And then you can add your original footage, just like so. So I will trim it down to five seconds. And then you can go ahead to the deliver page and I'm just gonna use the default settings. Just make sure it's 1080p and 24 frames per second. Then go ahead and save this footage and add to render queue and render the footage. Now for AI, there are so many different softwares you can choose from. One of them that gives you the most control is Comfy UI. There's a channel called Control Effects. He has some really good breakdowns and tutorials using Comfy UI along with Nuke to composite or remove things from the video. I will leave his video down in the description, but I like to use a video generator that is on the cloud, such as Kling AI or Hexfield. You can use whatever you want, but just know that I'm using the O1 model of Kling AI. Now here we are in Kling AI, and to use the O1 model, we're gonna go to the left here and choose Kling O1. Here are different modes you can choose for the O1 model. For paint out work and VFX, just use the transformation. And this lets you upload a video, but the limitations are it has to be 1080p footage and it can only be 10 seconds. But in our case, our footage is five seconds long. So we will choose five seconds with an aspect ratio of 16 by nine. And I'm only gonna use one output. You can choose multiple, but that will cost you more credits. And then make sure it's the video or one model. And we can choose either a video generation or image generation. Now for this example, we're gonna upload our video. So go ahead and upload the video. And the only thing we have to do is literally tell it to remove the skater from the video. So remove skater from this video. But for a video like this, it will usually take around three minutes to render it out. And just like that, Kling AI painted out the skater in the video. And honestly, the results are so good that if I would see this video, I couldn't tell it's a paint out. The only downside is when I download this video, it will obviously be a compressed video, but I have a neat little trick for this we can do in DaVinci Resolve. Now back in DaVinci, let's import our AI video, just like so. And let's place it on top of our original. And we don't need the audio, so let's delete this. And then go to your inspector, and I'm gonna upscale this footage using the AI Super Scale. And I'm just gonna use the two times enhanced. And when I zoom into the footage, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's getting much sharper and it looks more like a 4K video. Now I'm gonna select both of these clips and then right click and new fusion clip. And then open this up in fusion. And this automatically made a no tree for us. And what we're gonna do now is mask this skater out of the original footage 
and then use our AI to place this on top. First thing I'm gonna do is adding a magic mask. So control spacebar and then add a magic mask. Just make sure it's on the original footage. So let's apply this merge onto our magic mask and then select the skater. I'm just gonna use the faster mode and then track forwards and backwards. And once the magic mask is done, we can go to the mat and then erode and dilate and also blur it out. This is only used for the painted out part. So I'm gonna use a bitmap. So we have an alpha channel of that extraction. And I'm gonna select our media out as a preview and apply this bitmap onto our alpha channel of the AI. And it's kind of hard to see, but now we have everything around it is our original footage. And only this patch right here is the AI render. And it's still not perfect here on the bottom. So I'm gonna go into our split view and then into the magic mask and change the erode and dilate and also the blur a little bit. There's one small issue we need to fix. When I go closer, you'll see it's not lining up perfectly. That's because our AI video is uh, changing or cropping the footage a little bit. And to counter that, I will just use a transform node called XF and just place it on the AI video. And to see what's happening, we can preview or merge and then use the blend mode to overlap the two videos together. I will quickly uh, disconnect the alpha so we have our whole footage and here we can change the size of the AI. I will uncheck the use size and aspect so we can individually change our X and Y size. Now change the scale so everything lines up perfectly. Just watch the corners of the video Perfect, and now we can add our blending mode to one again and add our bitmap onto the alpha. And now this will line up much better. Now for the bottle, it's kind of the same process. I just uploaded the video, then removed the label on the bottle, keep the exact motion and proportions of the bottle. And then I added an element as a reference to replace the original bottle. And how these elements work is you upload different pictures onto Kling AI. For example, here I have the same bottle without the label and then uploaded different images from different angles. You can even go to ChatGPT and make additional angles this way. And that way Kling AI knows how the bottle should look like when you are generating or removing certain parts of your video. Once you've created an element, you can simply add it onto your prompt and then place it in the correct order. And then it should be able to create something like this, removing the label from the bottle. And just like we did before, we can go to Fusion, add our AI video, just like so. And with the merge, we can see how the footage looks. Maybe we can even add a transform again. Make sure the scale matches exactly. And then we can apply the same technique, adding a magic mask onto our original footage, then masking out our original bottle, just like this, and then track forwards and backwards. And in the matte option, I will blur it out just a little bit, erode and dilate, then add another bitmap. for the mask and then apply this bitmap onto our merge and then we literally have the same original image but only this part is uh, the AI render. You can see it does a really great job handling the motion of the liquid and this would take hours and hours to really get it right when uh, doing traditional VFX and CGI. So you can really see the benefits here when working for clients or having a tight deadline and you need to remove parts of your footage or 
fix it in post shots just like this ai is a really great way to do this if you want to learn more stuff like this and you want to support the channel i have full tutorials and courses on my vfx community we already have about 130 members which i'm very grateful for let's grow this community and uh, and if you want to buy me some coffee then uh, check it out link in the description thanks for watching and see you on the next one peace